Hey guys, welcome back to the EdTech Spot. We've been away for a little while, but we're back to bring more educational content to our viewers. Today, we're going to take another look at Google Jamboard, and we'll be doing storyboards. Now, storyboards are a visual representation of how a story will play out. So today, we're following our adventurer, Jono, as he travels around the world. Let's get right into the video. If you're new to Google Jamboard and you're not sure how to get there, first, click on the Google Apps icon or the nine squares in the top right-hand corner. Scroll till you find Jamboard. Click on it and you will see all of your recent Jam files. Today, the one we are focusing on is Storyboard with Jamboard. We already went ahead and created the frames, so we'll be focusing on how to add text to your storyboard. While that's loading, storyboards are a very creative way to make your in-class lessons and assignments more attractive. Here we go, exploring the wonders with Jono. For the first frame, we're going to double click on the sticky note, erase the text and type in our fun fact. There are several fun facts about the Milky Way galaxy. For example, did you know that the Milky Way galaxy has over a billion stars and planets? Or that there is a black hole in the center of the galaxy? Interesting stuff. When you're finished, click save. Afterwards, you can adjust the text in your word bubble. You can make it smaller or larger just so that it's easier to see. Then. We'll click next frame at the top to move on to the next one. Let's take a dive into the Caribbean Sea, home to all kinds of marine life. But first, I think we need to get Jono some swim trunks. He's really getting his feet wet. Now on this frame, you can enter whatever information you like. You could mention where the Caribbean Sea is located, the coral reefs and other kinds of reefs. For example, the Caribbean Sea is home to the second largest barrier reef in the world. When you're finished, just click save and adjust the text to your liking. Next stop, the Amazon rainforest, which happens to be wet and warm at the same time. Jono is really traveling. I hope he brought some insect repellent. I hear there are a lot of insects in the Amazon. It's the world's largest tropical rainforest. Once you get used to editing the text in your storyboard, the better you get at it. This encourages students to be more creative with their assignments. Remember that Google Documents are saved automatically and if you've made a mistake, you can always click the undo button to undo your last edit and continue from there. Let's take a pit stop at Harrison's Cave in the lovely island of Barbados. We can rest our feet for a little bit. Whew. Harrison's Cave is one of the most popular tourist attractions here and is found in the beautiful parish of St. Thomas. This cave is filled with stalactites and stalagmites. Jono is taking the tram which runs on a track through the cave. Don't forget your hard hat and get your cameras ready. The beautiful thing about Jamboard is that you could even use it to do a report on a school field trip. Last stop, the Sahara Desert. I hope you walked with your water and sunscreen. Jono looks tired. This is the world's largest hot desert. Now when you mention desert, I usually think hot dry, sandy, but there are cold deserts too. See, we learn new things every day. Before we go, here is one example of how we created the frame. So we went ahead and added a heading, which is just a border and an image. Then we sent the border back so the image could be seen. We did the same thing for the picture as well. So what I'm doing here right now is I've copied and pasted a word bubble onto the frame from a previous frame and I'm adding a sticky note and just creating a template by which I can insert my text. 
after I've adjusted it to the size that I like, I'm moving on to the next step. I'm simply going to click add image, which is on the left hand panel. And I'm going to search for an image to place on the frame. Once I've selected the image, I'm just going to drag it into place. And once I've dragged it into place, then I'm going to add a border around the image, which is also sent to the back of the image, just like our heading, as well as the other image that is on the page. And that's it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others. On this frame here, we have a few tips and resources. Create a storyboard on topics like slavery, art, music, and sports. Use Google Jamboard in composition exercises. Document a field trip and create a pictorial storyboard. Or you can print your Jamboard storyboard and share with others. We also have a link to some resources available in the description box below.